To get started creating your first dashboard in Reveal, click the New button in the upper right hand corner of either your dashboard screen or any of the teams that you're a member of. I'm going to create a dashboard in the My Stuff tab. I'll click the New button. I'll click Dashboard. If you have data that you've used previously, they'll show up in the various content managers like OneDrive or Google Drive. We also include sample data with Reveal that you can get started with right away. I'm going to go ahead and click the new data source and you'll see all of the data sources that are available today in Reveal. We're adding new data sources every month. So if you don't see something here that you may want, keep checking back. The chances are you'll see it very soon. I have a spreadsheet in my Google Drive. So I'm going to go ahead and log into my Google Drive, accept the permissions. In the My Drive folder, I have my operations data spreadsheet. In many cases, you're using data in Microsoft Excel, and that Excel data is stored somewhere on a server in your domain or on a public site, or you're connecting to a specific data source. In this case, we have a spreadsheet in Google Drive, so I'm going to select my operations data. And what this will do is it will read the file from the cloud and for each sheet, it will list the name of the sheet and I can go ahead and select which one I want to use or I can click the preview data button and I can see what data is actually in the sheet. In this case, I can see we have territory, date, quota, leads, basic sales data in this sheet. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. I want to start off with our manufacturing data to show some of the operations data in a new dashboard. So I'll go ahead and select the data and I'm prompted with the visualization designer. Based on your experience with using visualizations, you can either click the visualization that you want to use first or you can just start dragging data from the fields list over to the pivot data column and you'll start seeing data appearing in the visualization area. In this case, we can do a very simple visualization. For example, units lost by date. And you'll see by date, we have the units lost. This isn't very friendly as far as a dashboard goes, so I will change the display to a column chart. If I want to change the settings of any of the fields, I can select the field and you can see I have different options based on the data type of the field. So for example, this is displaying by year. I can also select month and update the field and the visualization will change to month. I want to go back and I want to keep this to display by year. I won't change any of the fiscal year, initial month or any of the sorting and we'll leave the date format as is. If I go to the settings tab, I have other options. And again, this is going to be based off of the visualization that you choose. I can decide to show the legend or not. For example, I may just wanna put the legend information in the title. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. We can change the color. You can add any of our pre-built trend lines. You can change the axis to linear or logarithmic. You can change the axis bounds, or you can set this up to link to another dashboard or an external URL based on a user interaction. I'm gonna change the name of this to units lost. Select done, and I'll select the checkbox and this will be my first visualization in my dashboard. Next, let's add another visualization. We'll use the same data. And I will select manufacturing again and we'll click select data. And now we're back into the visualization designer. In this visualization, I want to view the operators available by function. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab operators by function as the row data. We'll take operators available as the values. And then for the data filters, we're just going to use the date. Now, when you do a data filter, 
you're looking at all of the data that you have in your data source and you're doing a filter so you're minimizing the amount of data that you're showing at once. I'm going to go ahead and select a rule here to filter by rule and my filter by rule will be to show operators available by function for the last 30 days. So I'm going to go ahead and create the filter. Now the next thing I can do here is change the visualization type because the table is not very interesting. Let's change this to a donut chart and now we have a nice visualization. We have our legend. If I want to go over to the settings tab, you can see some of the settings that we have for the donut chart. For example, I can change the start position. So if you want to really customize how the visualization looks, what data is being shown first, in most cases, what you're going to want is the largest data is always starting from the upper right. And I can change the slice label from percentage to value, or I can do value and percentage. Let's go ahead and click the checkbox and save this to the visualization. Now I'm going to keep adding a couple more widgets here, but this time instead of clicking new visualization, I'm just going to use the copy function. So I can copy this visualization and that allows me to paste it back into the dashboard. This gives me the ability to very quickly use the same data source for multiple visualizations in my dashboard. So let's edit this instance of operators by function and let's take a look at orders in versus orders shipped. So I'm going to change this to orders in versus order shipped. So let's go ahead and remove the fields that I had in earlier. The first thing I want to do is change the visualization type to a column chart and I want to look at the orders in versus order shipped by date. So let's grab date. We'll get orders in and we'll get orders shipped. So now I have a nice column chart. But again, let's do a date filter. I'm going to do a filter by rule. I want to grab the last 365 days. So I show the last year and I want to change the date aggregation from year to month. Let's go ahead and update that field. And now we've quickly created a new visualization based on an existing visualization using the copy function. Let's add one more widget. I'll use the operations data again. We'll use the manufacturing data. And let's take a look at the cost of labor versus revenue. And we're going to do this by date. We're going to do the same date filter that we had previously. So let's do a filter by rule. We'll do the last 365 days. And I also want to change the date aggregation for this visualization to month since it's only showing the last 365 days. And now I will change the visualization type to a line chart. And you can see that the visualization is looking pretty nice. Another trick when you're creating visualizations is just clicking on the empty field to get the field list versus doing the drag and drop, which is what I was doing previously. Let's change the title to cost of labor versus revenue. And we will hit the checkbox. And now we have four visualization widgets in our dashboard. I'm going to go ahead and change the name of this dashboard to Manufacturing Metrics. And I'll click the check button to save this out to the My Stuff folder. And if I close this dashboard, you'll see that Manufacturing Metrics ends up being inside of My Dashboards. If I click the hamburger menu directly from here, I can add this as a favorite. Now it will show up in my favorites. And I can also directly from here share this dashboard. And in this case, I'll go ahead and share this with the marketing team. Now if I go over to Teams, and the marketing team now has the manufacturing metrics dashboard.